Hey you guys, it's Ashley here, and I wanted to share that, it's so exciting, I had a rapture dream last night, or this morning, I should say, it was incredible, um, it was at night time in my dream, and we were... It was like a party or something going on and we were like at a, a lodge and there was this big wraparound porch but also like the um, one side of the the lodge was just big glass windows that looked off into the mountains um, but it it was pretty dark so it was nighttime and we were all like I don't know who all was there there was a lot of people there. I can't name any one particular person. But, um, like, we were eating and, and talking, and there was a lot of chatter going on. And then we started hearing this noise. And I can't remember what the noise was. I just, it drew our attention to look out the windows. And... Everybody started saying, it's happening, it's happening. And I'm like, what's happening? So we go and, um, I'm going to put it on the trees for a minute, all I think. Because I don't like looking at the camera. So, we go and, um, go outside onto that wraparound porch. And, and I could see off in the, the distance, there was a big volcano going off. Like, uh, I'm trying to think of a movie. Maybe Joe versus the Volcano or something like that. And, I mean, it was huge. And the fire and the smoke was just going straight up. And, I, and I'm like, oh, we better, we better run away. That's going to hit us. And I heard a lady say, no. No, it's too far away and too high up. It can't get to us. But the smoke will eventually come. I'm like, well, okay. And then uh, we hear like another noise. And I remember having, I have this purple blankie that I sit with all the time. Or I sleep with. It's my blankie and I had it wrapped around my shoulders and I remember having it around my shoulders in my dream and my body started lifting up off the porch and like floating up towards the sky and I'm like this is it this is it and it felt so real and I was saying um, I am redeemed, I am renewed, I'm reborn, holy, 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 uh, what else, there was something else, um, glory, 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 holy, 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 and I just, like, I could feel my body moving up, and, like, a, this, joy in my heart like because I knew I was going home it was just if you've had a rapture dream you know what I'm talking about like it is the best feeling and then um, I could see ahead of me like other others other beings being lifted up but their bodies were like a, a candle flame color like white and orange and just their their light and then I could I think I also saw like a blue a blue light up in the sky like a spiral almost I'm not sure about that I'm pretty sure I saw that, but oh, here, trucking down the hill. 
And then I heard, and then I heard behind me all the people at the party. Like some of them were lifting up too, but then there was a lot, a lot of them that were just like left there, left behind. And you could hear them crying and they said, but I got saved. But I, I know the Lord. Why am I not leaving? And you could hear the devastation in them. And it, it was almost like they, they went to church. They did the works, but they didn't understand the truth of Jesus and his love. And... All because you say you're saved doesn't really mean you're saved. Anybody can say that they're saved. Like, but do you really have faith? Do you really have belief and love in your heart? And that's what I got from that, that those people were like the imitators. But man, uh, as I, I went up and up and up, you know, that was behind me and I knew I was going home. It was so awesome. Rapture dreams are a blessing and I haven't had one in years, years it's probably been almost three years now since I had one. And I've been praying for one for months. So, and I've been praying, like, Lord, if it's soon, can you, can you give me a dream? Just a little dream. So, I don't, I don't know if this was him answering that prayer or, you know, just my subconscious but I feel like if it was my subconscious, I could will a rapture dream anytime I wanted. You know, like this was a gift from God. And oh, I just can't wait till it really happens. And we really have that, that peace I felt inside. Like, there's no, there's no earthly description for what I felt. I mean. It was better than any high. I've ever had. On a drug. Like. And to think. That when it really. You know. When we really. Get to go home. You know. Like I felt like I was already in my new body. You know. So maybe, you know, we'll feel like that all the time. Like God is the ultimate high. And the purest and holiest and without blemish. And nothing to be ashamed of, you know. Mm, I can't wait. So I hope this gives you encouragement and pray uh, for your own dreams, you know. And if it's his will, he'll send you one. So, I mean, I'm not anybody special. I just asked. And it didn't come right away. Like, I have been asking a while. Like, I already told you. There's so much going on you hear the birds uh, 
I don't know if you can hear it. I think my hand is on the speaker. Y'all probably couldn't hear me. So, okay, I'm going to finish this before the baby wakes up. I waited for her to take a nap. I wanted to get on like at 5 o'clock this morning. I was like, mm, I better wait. So I'm waiting for the baby to take a nap. And then I got some more chores to do. It's going, oh, oh. you hear it? Look at these trees. Oh, I have another. I made a video yesterday I need to share of the sky. The sky looks pretty good today. Oh, yesterday it was a hot Cheeto mess. It was scratched up. And there was an airliner, like, like, I could zoom in on it, almost read what airline it was. That's how low it was flying. And it wasn't, like, bad weather. So that was weird. <clears throat> Don't eat the Beyond Burger from Burger King. There's something going on with that. Just watch and see. It's like the Supernatural episode. Where Dean eats the Tardarkin burger sandwich. And he gets all like high and like not caring about anything. And then they take one um, back to the motel. And uh, cut it open and ooze comes out of it. And that the Leviathan were like poisoning the food. That's what the Beyond Burger is. Is that what it's called? Beyond Burger? You know, the plant-based burger at Burger King. There's like a green bug. I'm easily distracted. Oh, gosh. So, everybody, let me know how you're doing down below. Hi, Crystal. Hi, Jeremy. Hi, Angie. Y'all, uh, commented on my last video. So let's say hi. I miss you guys. Stay in the word. With your armor on. Love you always. Bye. Um, so why do I always... I always, like, want to close it out, but then it's, like, a bad number. It's just a number. I shouldn't care. So now I'm going to wait here. Maybe, um, so for like trick-or-treating this year with my kids, we didn't do it last year. I didn't take them. And I'm, I'm, we have, I haven't gotten them any, we don't have any Halloween decorations up or no costumes purchased. I'm not doing, I'm not letting them dress up or anything. I, they really haven't been, Gio hasn't said anything about it. Chloe did. She's thinking about going with a friend, but I don't know. I might take them up the top of the mountain there's a <coughs> a church up there that's doing trunk or treat and like just our close neighbors but I don't think they'll dress up just go get some candy and do that I, th I think that's what we'll do or I'll just buy candy I think that's what I did last year I just got them candy And I've, I've pretty much already told everybody I'm not doing Christmas. Wait. Like, 
I just don't feel for it anymore. Like, I know it's a sin to celebrate those things. So, pretty much the only thing we all celebrate is Thanksgiving. And even that's corrupted, you know? Alright, random thoughts to get to the right number. Alright, love y'all. Bye.